Elon Musk has, with the support of international scientists, discovered a new method to produce oxygen in Mars. Hello everyone and welcome back to Elon Musk Evolution, where we keep you up to date on all the latest news and gossip relating to our favorite South African billionaire Elon Musk and his globally renowned companies. In today's video, we will find out how Musk has, with the aid of an international research team, discovered a new plasma-based method to convert Martian carbon dioxide into oxygen. We all know that Elon Musk has been eagerly aspiring to one day explore the depths of space ever since a young age. Since his days in PayPal, he envisioned to send spacecraft and development projects to Mars with the goal of eventually making the red planet habitable for humans. Musk's Mission to Mars After cashing out from his time at PayPal, Musk donated $100,000 to the Mars Society to promote efforts to probe and colonize the planet. At the same time, the South African announced the start of his pet project Mars Oasis to send plants to Mars in order to develop possible vegetation as well as oxygen necessary for human life. Musk felt that the only way for humans to explore Mars was to develop the existing rocket and propulsion technology at the time. Initially, he attempted to purchase used Dnieper ICBMs from Russian contractors with the aid of CIA Administrator Mike Griffin and entrepreneur Jim Cantrell. However, due to the sudden creation of the U.S. Missile Defense Agency, the previously positive Russian suppliers backed away from the deal, leaving Musk in the dark. Out of frustration, the billionaire decided to form his own rocket company, naming it SpaceX, shortly after in March 2002. Within a few years, the space startup quickly began work on its first major project, the Falcon 1 small-lift orbital launch vehicle. After famously failing three consecutive launches from 2006 to 2008 and verging on the edge of bankruptcy, Musk and his company finally turned their fortunes around when in late September 2008, the fourth launch was successful and two months later, NASA approved the project and provided the company with the contract funding. Since then, SpaceX has gone from stride to stride with the continuous upgradation and development of further Falcon models, the development of the Falcon 9 rocket and Dragon spacecraft, the creation of the Boring Company for developing high-speed land tunnel networks, and the development of the Starlink Satellite Internet Communications Network. Similarly, SpaceX's very creation was due to the generous support and assistance of the then-NASA Administrator Mike Griffin, who helped Musk secure funding for his new startup in order to research and develop emerging space technologies. In every step, NASA has acted as a big brother of sorts for Musk and his team, including for SpaceX's latest projects like Raptor engines, Starship spacecraft, and Starlink satellite communications. From its inception, Musk has had the desire to transport both cargo and humans to Mars for an eventual settlement on the planet. He previously said, This is not about everyone moving to Mars. This is about becoming multiplanetary. This is really about minimizing existential risk and having a tremendous sense of adventure. Mars back in time Today, Mars' thin atmosphere is almost entirely composed of carbon dioxide, with as much as 95% of the air composed of CO2. Less than 1% is constituted of oxygen, which is far too less to sustain earthly life. There is, however, evidence that the red planet once had a much warmer and wetter climate, which suggests that Mars once had a much thicker atmosphere with the potential for thick greenhouse gases trapping the sun's harmful rays. Owing to numerous research expeditions to Mars, we have learned that in the planet's early development, which was around 4 billion years ago, the planet had a strong magnetic field created similar to that of Earth's through convection currents of molten metals in the planet's core. However, unlike our planet, Mars gradually cooled internally to offset the magnetism, eventually losing it altogether. Without the magnetic field, the Martian atmosphere was highly vulnerable to the sun's solar winds and storms, as well as space debris and asteroids' comets. The solar wind tore apart Mars' atmosphere within only a few hundred million years after the planet lost its magnetic field. The degradation happened quicker due to the younger age of our sun causing fiercer solar winds. The loss of a large portion of its atmosphere to space, atmospheric loss, was a major cause of the red planet's transition from a warm, wet climate to today's cold, dry one. But this is also a primary reason why our own blue planet has had the perfect characteristics to harbor life. Due to a strong and well-maintained magnetic field, Earth is able to deflect solar radiation more easily, enabling our planet to hold on to our precious atmosphere. New Plasma Innovation Recently, an international team of scientists has devised a new plasma-based method to produce and separate oxygen in Mars. The new method is a complementary approach to NASA's Mars Oxygen In Situ Resource Utilization Experiment, with the new method having the potential to deliver high rates of molecule production per kilogram of instrumentation sent to space. 
NASA's MOXIE is an earlier innovation that was experimented using the U.S. Space Agency's Mars Robotic Rover Perseverance, nicknamed Percy for short. Essentially, MOXIE involves the rover extracting carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and turning it into oxygen and carbon monoxide. The device draws in Martian air, which is constituted of 95% carbon dioxide. By pumping a current between two oppositely charged electrodes in an electrochemical cell, MOXIE can split the carbon dioxide with carbon monoxide and oxygen ions. The oxygen ions then combine with each other to produce oxygen gas. However, in order for that to happen at a large scale, a similar device would need to eat up a huge amount of power. The project has its roots when NASA first considered flying an earlier rover on a 2001 mission. However, when the Mars 2020 initiative was formulated, the space agency decided to directly fly a robot to produce the required propellant from materials found on Mars. The innovation is actually a golden-colored box stored inside the Percy rover and was first tested by NASA engineers in March 2019. According to Michael Hecht, an experimental scientist at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology's Haystack Observatory and the project's principal investigator, MOXIE is intended to be a demonstration of a technology that will allow us to fill up the oxygen tanks that a team of future astronauts will need to fly home to take off from Mars. Also to breathe, but rockets breathe more than people, and that's the big job. Once Percy finally landed on the Red Planet on February 18, 2021, work was immediately underway to test out the MOXIE device. The contraption created history when for 10 minutes it was able to successfully convert carbon dioxide into breathable oxygen. The experiment was proven a success, however, MOXIE needs to pressurize and heat the Mars atmosphere, requiring additional parts that consume energy and would make it heavier. The new experimental innovation using electron beams and a plasma reactor could provide a crucial role in the development of life-supporting systems on the Red Planet. It could also help to facilitate agriculture, livestock, and base chemicals for processing fuels, building materials, and fertilizers. In the Journal of Applied Physics from AIP Publishing, the scientists demonstrated a method to harness the local carbon dioxide found abundantly in Mars to generate oxygen, which can be split chemically from CO2. The Martian atmosphere's pressure is favorable for plasma ignition, with natural conditions on the planet almost nearly ideal for in situ resource utilization by plasmas. The research team consisted of scientists from the University of Lisbon, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, Sorbonne University, Eindhoven University of Technology, and the Dutch Institute for Fundamental Energy Research. The International Consortium of Scientists is now faced with two practical challenges. The first being the difficulty of decomposing carbon dioxide to extract oxygen. The researcher's author Vasco Guerra of the University of Lisbon stated, First, the decomposition of carbon dioxide molecules to extract oxygen, it's a very difficult molecule to break. The second major challenge, according to Guerra and his team, is the separation of oxygen from a mixture containing other compounds. According to Guerra, second, the separation of the produced oxygen from a gas mixture that also contains, for example, carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide. We're looking at these two steps in a holistic way to solve both challenges at the same time. This is where plasmas can help. Plasma has free charged particles including electrons, which are light and easily accelerated to very high energies via electric fields. When bullet-like electrons collide with a carbon dioxide molecule, they can directly decompose it or transfer energy to make it vibrate, Guerra said. This energy can be channeled to a large extent into carbon dioxide decomposition. We all know that Elon Musk has been eagerly aspiring to one day explore the depths of space ever since a young age. Since his early days in PayPal, he envisioned to send spacecraft and development projects to Mars with the goal of eventually making the Red Planet habitable for humans. With this new breakthrough, that goal appears closer than ever. We really hope you enjoyed our latest video. If so, give us a like and share it with your near and dear ones. Let us know if you have any questions or comments in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more Elon Musk news and views. Please also check out our other videos, which we're sure you will also enjoy watching. Hope to see you all in our next video.